the gap between the Democratic contenders vying to be the next Cook County State's attorney is getting smaller as election judges continue to count votes nearly a week after the Illinois primary. New numbers tonight show the race for the next Cook County State's attorney getting even tighter, with Eileen O'Neill Burke leading Clayton Harris III by just over 2,000 votes. The race appears to be neck and neck, as votes are still being counted, with poll watchers keeping a close eye. Tonight, an admission of fault by the Chicago Board of Elections spokesperson, Max Bever. I am absolutely mortified for the mistake that I made in my reporting. This is not an issue of recently found ballots or missing ballots. This was an issue uh, that I was getting out about how many vote-by-mail ballots we had received uh, on Election Day. What I had not done is uh, realize that there was additional uh, vote-by-mail ballots that were received on Monday the 18th. In a statement to ABC7, the O'Neill Burke campaign said, quote, we have a vigilant team of volunteers, lawyers, and retired judges who are watching the vote count process at the Board of Elections very closely. Harris's campaign said in a statement, quote, as the votes are processed and the margin in this race continues to shrink, we are watching closely and evaluating our options. We will determine our next steps when appropriate. This, as Bever says, the board has already met with attorneys from both campaigns. There will be additional results coming in, uh, both uh, large and small. But political experts say this election error could have voters questioning the racist legitimacy. It throws questions into the integrity of our elections in general. Um, and basically since 2020, since the advent of what's been called the big lie, um, a large percentage of Americans have been skeptical of elections. I think that people are going to be concerned about whether or not the results are valid. And that always raises questions about our democracy and about whether or not our voting process is reliable. State law gives election officials until April 2nd to count late arriving ballots, but Board of Elections officials say they expect to have a winner before then. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.